Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to perform a two-way lookup. So what I mean by two-way lookup, let's say that we have a table here and we've got columns of data, uh, columns of uh, fields here that identify the quarters and then we've got our rows which have these fields here that identify items. So for example, miss, let's say that we want to find out in Q4 how many socks did we sell, 702. Well, is there some quicker way to perform that lookup kind of programmatically with a formula instead of having to look, go through the columns and then go through the rows? And if this, is, if this was a larger table, it'd become a little bit more challenging. Well, there actually is, and it's using the index match lookup combination pair. So how do we do that? Well, first off, let me kind of describe uh, the match function, and then I'll go through how to incorporate that into the index function. So let's do the column match. So what we have here is the match function command. So I'm going to go type match, and I'm going to just going to press the tab key to complete that. And let's say I look up value. I'm going to I'm going to look up the value in this cell. So this is going to be my input cell later on. I can put Q2, Q3, Q4, and it will match up in this formula here. So let's say for example. Uh, I'm, I want to look up whatever's in this cell, and right now it says Q1, and I want to look that up in this field. So what it's going to do is it's going to look up whatever's in here, and it's going to look up within this list, this range of cells, and try to find out what's in here, which currently is Q1. So it's going to return back, it's going to look through Q cells B1 to E1, and it's going to look in, and it's going to find the result in the first place. So if I press enter, you'll see the number one. So if I want to change this to maybe Q3, it'll bring back the third place. So if I press enter, you'll see three there. So that's a column match. So it's going to look up this value within this range. So how do we do the row match? So the row match is basically the same thing. So instead of looking up the range here in these different columns, it's going to look through the range in this column with these different rows. So the formula is pretty much the same. So if I type equal match and then just tab it to give me that open parentheses, I want to look up this value here in I2, which is going to be either shoes or socks or shirts. Right now it says shoes. So I want to look up that value there within the lookup array or that range. So I'm going to select this range here. And I'll go ahead and press comma and I want an exact match. So I'm going to match up exactly what that, that word to that word. So I'm going to press 0 and press enter. So right now it says shoes, so it's going to put, bring back the second place. So shoes is it, in fact in the second place, first, second. So if I type jackets, it's going to bring it back, bring back the number 5. That's the fifth place. So if I type jackets here, it'll bring back number 5. So these are the two match functions that I'm going to incorporate into an index command. So let me go ahead and start with the lookup. So this is the complete lookup. So once I complete the formula and execute it, I'll go through the formula evaluator to show you how it works. So we're going to use the index command. So what the index command does is it picks up an array and based on the row number and column number, we'll bring back that value. So the, the array that I'm going to use is this array. So th I'm going to pick these range of values, right? And the row number is going to be that row here. Which row is it going to be? This one, this one, this one. So it's going to be this command here. So I'm, it's, that, it's that match command. So I'm going to do match. And which row? I'm going to use this as my row identifier. So I'm going to look which value I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up that So be, because these items are in rows. And I'm going to look up the array here this column of these rows here and I want the exact match. Alright, so that is the row. Now I want to look up the column. Now we have to pick up which column is it? Which one, two, three, four, which column is there? So that's also that match command. So I want to look up this value here which is going to identify the column and the array. So I'm just going to select that field of headers and it's going to be an exact match. So basically it's going to look up whatever's in this I1, whatever value in here, it's going to look up in these range of values and pick out which pick out uh, which place setting, one, two, three, or four. And I want the exact match, right? And now 
I have a closing parenthesis. You notice that this one's a little bit darker green, so it kind of matches up with this one. So I want to get a matching parenthesis. This one's black colored. So if I type another parenthesis, you should notice that it's black and kind of a little darker. And that indicates that it's the closing parenthesis. So since this is an array formula, what, what that really means is it's looking up this range of cells and it's bringing back that range of values within the formula itself. I have to press the keyboard combination, control, shift, and enter to enter it as an array formula. So once I do that, since it says Q3 and jackets, it's going to bring back the value right here, 815. So press control, shift, enter, and now we 815. So if I change this to maybe shirts, it should bring back Q3 and shirts 187. So let me go ahead and type shirts and now we have 187. You notice these changed too because these were the original formulas that I had for the match for the column and the match for the row. So let's see how this formula works. I'm going to bring up the formula evaluator, press the keyboard combination Alt T U F and let me go and bring it down here so we can see it. So let's look at I2. So I2 is right over here and it's going to look up, it's going to match I2 which is shirts and it's going to bring back shirts as the value. Let me go ahead and click evaluate and now it brought back shirts and now it's going to match shirts to A2 to A6 basically A2 to A6 so it's going to find shirts in the first setting and so it's going to bring back the number one so now we have one here you notice that's one here now it's going to look at the next match command which is for the columns so it's going to look at I1 which is Q3 so it's going to bring back Q3 and then it's going to look at B1 to E1 B1 to E1 and since it's in Q3 it's going to bring back the third place one, two, three. So we're going to have three there. So now it has one and three. So now it's got the row, the row identifier and the column identifier. So this is the first row. It's going to pick the first row and then the column. So first row, one, two, three, which is 187. So it's going to look in B, B2 to E6, B2 to E6. So B2, this is the first column and it's going to pick the third row, one, two, three and it's going to bring back of course 187. If I click evaluate you'll see our 187 there. So that's how we would perform a lookup using the index match function for a for a two-way lookup. Now this you can use on a larger table and you can programmatically do this and you can just enter in values here and here and you can just mix and match these values and get a nice uh, lookup really quickly and if you had a large table it would do it pretty efficiently. So there's another way to do it, a more quicker way to do it, and that's called using the intersection operator uh, feature. And it's a little bit more quicker. Uh, there's a little bit uh, limited flexibility in terms of like what you can do in making selections, uh, identifying cells for selections. But here's how you can actually do it if you want to do it kind of really quick and easy. So what we need to do is we need to identify and put names for our rows and columns. So basically what we can do is select the whole column and press Control shift f3 and what we're going to do is we're going to create names for our rows and columns. So we're going to take the, the names that are going to come from the top row and then also from the left column. If I click OK, you see really nothing happens but if we go into the formula tab and go to the name manager, you'll notice now we have all these different names. So now in terms of the name jackets right there, it's referring to range of cells B6 to E6. So basically B6 to E6. And here are our values, 868, 375, 815, 799. And that's an example of a name range for the rows. So we, have, we also have pants and shirts. We also have the name ranges for the columns, Q1, Q2, and it, it's put a Q1 and underscore here. So Q1, it's given that as B2 to B6, which is right here, B2 to B6, and it gives us our values, 90, 680, 233, etc. So basically, these are names for those ranges now. And so what I can do is, using the intersection operator, I can just type equal, and maybe I want to find out what how many pants sold in Q3, which is 549. I can just type pants, and it, it kind of, Excel smart enough to know that there's a name range there's a named range there, so I can just kind of click that. And the intersection operator is a space. So we have a space, and then we can type Q, let's see, I thought we I think we mentioned Q3. I can just type Q3 
and then just double click that to select that and once I hit enter it's gonna look at pants and it's gonna intersect with Q3 and it'll bring back 549 so we have 549 so that's another quick way to bring back data uh, within a matrix another quick way to do a two-way lookup a little bit more limited because it's a little bit hard a little bit more challenging to put uh, put it in programmatically with uh, labels but there's another way to quickly identify if you just want to do really quick you just kind of name your table with the different uh, name ranges for the headers and the columns and the rows and then use the intersection operator to get your particular value so I hope that helps thanks for watching